Well, it's hard to believe, but the big game is this Sunday as the Chiefs and Buccaneers are set to do battle right here on your favorite station, WPRI 12. So who better to have join us to give his perspective than three-time Super Bowl champion, former Patriot, founder of the Light Foundation, friend of the road show, and a man who I'm pretty sure could bench press me, Matt Light. Hey, Matt. <laughs> it's been a long time listening. That's, that's not saying that you've added anything. Actually, you're looking pretty good there in your home studio. I'm trying, big guy, but if uh, if push came to shove, I think you could do it, but that's not why we're here. Let's get right to it. It's been so long since we've had you on the road, so it's great to see your face again, of course. The Light Foundation just doing tremendous work. Remind our audience, remind everybody out there of really what it is your mission is and really what you guys are doing day in and day out. It's great work. Yeah, listen, I love talking about it. It's been a big part of my life since I joined the Patriots in 2001. And since then, we've been able to grow the Light Foundation, our impact, our mission, which is all about leadership. And so we have the Light Foundation Leadership Academy. We bring kids from all over the country to a 500 plus acre outdoor facility in Ohio, as well as a lot of programming that we do right here in the Northeast. And again, it's based on the fact that when you work with kids hands-on, whether it's through a football camp, which is kind of a no-brainer, or our leadership conference, or things like Camp Bohoicus, which is a four-year program that young men commit to, um, you learn about what they need, what they can improve on, where you can help give them a little bit of advice. And you know, when you bring the sports realm and some fun stories and some fun activities, you really can make an impact. And we've been blessed to do that. Yeah, certainly a laudable pursuit. I've been following what it is you guys are doing. Such great stuff. And you have a great event coming up Fool's Night Out. It's a ways down the line, but on April 1st, this is going to be a lot of fun. I know it's something you've done before. Yeah. And while we're all sitting here freezing and we're, we're in lockdown and we can't get out and we're all looking for something on April 1st, we are going to be celebrating like we do the fact that being a fool is a lot of fun and the practical jokes and the things that I used to do in the locker room with friends of mine. And, and the fact that I know guys like Lenny Clark and Artie Januario and Greg Murphy and Christine Hurley, all these unbelievable comedians who are homegrown right here in the Northeast and they come out to lend a hand and help us raise money is really cool. And we're doing it in style. We're going to be at the Menden Drive-In. So go to mattlight72.com, get your tickets now, because I think we're going to fill the Menden Drive-In with a lot of people looking for ways to laugh. Very cool. And I hope to chat with you more about that, even as it gets closer right here on the Roadshow. But let's turn our attention to the big game this Sunday, of course. This, Matt, one of the strangest football seasons ever to say the least I mean no exaggeration of course can you even fathom as a former player what these circumstances must have been like for the players I mean little to no fans at games the masks the incessant testing can you even imagine what that would have been like for I mean, for you and what do you think these guys were going through all year long you know football players are creatures of habit we treat like like for example if we have a Monday night game it throws off the entire week because we're not playing on Sunday. We have to shift when we do certain things. Wednesdays have always been a big install day. Thursdays, it changes a little bit. Fridays are Friday. When you have a Monday game, you treat a Wednesday like a Tuesday or a Thursday. And then a Friday is like a Wednesday with half of it. It's so convoluted and crazy <laughs> to think that they had to then – on top of what is the normal season, deal with the mask wearing and the testing as you go out to practice or come into the building or come off the field. I couldn't imagine it. It had to be a nightmare, but they're at the point now where hopefully it's behind them. And I think the one thing that I would say is actually a bonus in all of this chaos is the fact that these guys that are getting ready to play in the Super Bowl, whether you're the Kansas City Chiefs or the home team Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you don't have to deal with any of that chaos because nobody can go to the game. So there is a silver lining. But there is also the point of once the first play is made, then you kind of don't even realize in some ways that the crowd's there, unless you're an offensive tackle trying to hear, you know, the play call and, and the snap count and you jump off sides. Other than that, it is kind of business as usual once the game gets underway. Yeah, and let's talk the game itself. I mean, your buddy Tom back in it for a 10th time. You know, I've said many times on the road show, other than the supermodel wife and the football super, superstardom, he and I are basically the same person. But we're not here to talk about me. Let's talk about him. Remarkable to say the least that he's back in it. I mean, it's probably no surprise to you, but this really is unprecedented. 
Yeah. No, nobody's done it the way he's done it. Right. And no one's overcome, you know, what was kind of that, eh, you know, he's a late round pick. He's behind a superstar and drew blood. So, and, and then he gets his chance. And for 20 plus years, he's been doing it at a high, high level. I think, you know, the, the storyline on Tom Brady is all about consistency and a willingness to do whatever it takes to win. And we saw it here. We were very fortunate. We had a front row seat. I had maybe even better than a front row seat for 11 seasons of my career to be around a guy that does it at that level and to learn from him. And you saw that happen down in Tampa where they're around greatness, but it took a little while to figure out what those expectations were. But when football needed to be played really well, which is typically in the later half of the season, especially after Thanksgiving, that team has been playing really well with Tom Brady. Yeah, it's been so impressive, their run. So I got to put you on the spot here, Matt. A prediction on the outcome? Look, they're going to have to do it all perfect in Tampa Bay to pull off a win. This Chiefs team is legit. I have a hard time seeing them not showing up and doing really well. But that said, Kansas City's got some real deficiencies on their offensive line, right? They got guys that are going to be moving around. Both their tackles are out of the game. But Patrick Mahomes is a guy that can make plays at any given moment. So tough road. I'm going to give the edge to KC. We'll see what happens. Absolutely. It should be a great game either way, Matt. So good to see you. Thank you for your time. Best of luck moving forward with the Light Foundation. And we hope to chat with you again soon. Look forward to it. Thanks a lot. All right. If you guys would like even more information on the Light Foundation, we will have links posted at roadshow.com.